Since I'm in the middle of upgrading the Windows 10, I thought I'd show you my new toy, uh, tool. My new tool, it's really cool. Come in the other room and I'll show it to you. Look at that. I just got it. It's a laser. It's not a laser, it's a, it's a little light bulb that blinks. What's with him? Laser envy. So this is a very basic, very inexpensive laser cutter. Bought it on eBay for about 300 bucks. But I figured this would be a good place to start. I want to learn how to do this myself. I've been jobbing it out to other people. So, um, it's very simple, very basic. I mean, look at this. There is your amp meter. This looks like a VA meter from my dad's old 8-track tape deck or something. And this is the knob that controls the power of the laser, <laughs> which cracks me up. I feel like... I'm engaging my warp drive, warp one, warp two, warp three, warp four. And it, I think it only goes to warp nine, otherwise you might create a wormhole in space. Alert. Wormhole. So I want to show you the laser too. It's actually kind of cool looking. Didn't see that there. Tell me that does not look like the flux capacitor. So cool. I don't think it runs on 21.1 gigawatts. gigawatts! It's actually only 40 watts. It's really cool how it works. The laser comes out of the tube, hits this mirror right here, and then the laser comes out of off of that mirror that we just saw to this mirror right here, and then to this mirror, which has a focusing lens underneath it. So the stepper motors take that head back and forth and cut your part out. You can see these tubes here. This uh, laser tube is water cool. I guess it produces enough heat, you gotta keep it cool. So I've got a tank down below and a pump. And I'm gonna be installing a, uh, a flow switch to let me know that the water's flowing. If the water quits flowing while your laser's on, that could be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. What do you mean bad? Like the whole tube meltdown or something, I don't know. So I'm also going to be doing some upgrades on the cutting bed here, putting in some of this honeycomb material, which is really cool. And uh, some other safety things, um, hopefully keep me from cutting my hand off. Ah! That would really hurt. I bought an upgrade kit for this to get rid of this analog control system and go to something uh, hopefully a lot better. That's my new control screen, push buttons, uh, power supply, controller, these are the stepper drives. Putting in new laser head, better mirrors, better lens, and of course, the all important emergency stop button. Just in case uh, something happens and the laser beam starts shooting around my room. I can just mash that button to turn it off. Kind of cool. So I'll keep you updated on how this project goes. Hopefully it goes really quickly. I've got a bunch of CAD designs that I'm anxious to start cutting out uh, for some projects coming up. So I'll keep you posted. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our channel. Or click here to visit our website.